Stock media producers often face the challenge of balancing the look of photos and videos on set. Using different camera manufacturers can result in significant variations due to differences in sensors and color science. Matching the colors between video footage and photo sets can be a daunting task, so in this tutorial we'll share some tips for efficiently achieving cohesive and believable results regardless of the camera brand differences. In order for Resolve to interpret and correctly display the gallery reference stills in a color managed workflow, we will need to set the input color space in the color management settings to Rec. 709 Scene and the input DRT to Luminance Mapping. In turn, we must manually set every clip to its respective input color space. Check the video in the link above on how to set up a color managed workflow if you need a refresher. Let's import a few reference stills from our set that best represent the various lighting scenarios. We'll need a hero reference image for each group of clips filmed from the same angle, lighting or white balance. Select an album from the gallery navigator on the color page and drag your stills to the gallery section. To enable side-by-side -side viewing, select the split screen button at the top or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt plus W on PCs or Command Option plus W on Macs, then from the drop-down menu select Still Images. Select the image you want to use as a reference and you can start grading. Likewise, you can switch to Image Wipe View which lets you wipe between the currently selected clip you are grading and the selected reference still from the gallery. Now you can drag the pointer in the viewer to move the wipe and compare. You can switch between various wipe modes as you see fit from the top toolbar. This is a great way for comparing and matching skin tones or certain elements of the image together with using the scopes that will show the same split screen graph. Contrast is a major element in our images and defines the look, so it is important to learn how to match it to our reference stills. Luckily, we have the waveform scope to measure the amount of contrast we should be adding to match the reference. An easy way to match contrast and luminance is to desaturate the clip and the reference to eliminate the color and saturation. This way, we'll have a much more accurate reading and view of the contrast and luminance on the waveform, making it easier to match to the reference. Bring a copy of your reference image in the timeline on a separate track from your clips. Then hop over to the color page. Select the reference image, then bring down the saturation to zero. Right click in the viewer and select grab still. Reveal the timeline and click on the track name to disable it and hide the image. Next, select the clip you want to grade and likewise bring down the saturation to zero. With the black and white reference still selected in the gallery section, click on the split screen or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt plus W on PCs or Command Option plus W on Macs, then from the drop down select Still Images. Bring up the waveform scope and turn the contrast slider until you get a similar looking waveform compared to the still. Adjust the exposure with the offset wheel and fine-tune the highlights and shadow levels with the highlight or shadow sliders. If you need to match the shadow level, hop in the log wheels and adjust the level to match the reference. Ultimately, inspect the images in the viewer and adjust as you see fit, but this method will give you a good starting point. Once we're over the contrast matching, it's time to do a general white balance matching to our still. And general is the keyword at this stage. There is no need to go into secondary detail matching yet. At this stage, we're still working with broad strokes to match our grade with the reference. The best tool for this is the offset wheel paired with the parade scope. Turn on the display qualifier focus in the scopes, pick the qualifier, and hover over the shadow and highlights to locate their positions. Look for major color casts in the shadows and highlights represented by misaligned RGB channels and try to neutralize these using the offset color wheel. Compare the differences in the RGB channels between your grade and your reference. 
Use the lock shadows and highlights color wheels to fine tune and match the reference RGB channels in the parade scope. The goal is to bring the entire look into the same world as the reference. At this step, we need to work with broad strokes, so try adjusting the white balance as closely as possible. The most important element when it comes to grading is skin tone. And that is also the case when it comes to matching your clips or a reference. People have a tendency to notice skin tone before anything else and run it subconsciously through a mental model pattern. If something is off, they will immediately notice it. Skin tone is one of what they call memory colors. These are colors that we expect to have a certain hue, such as foliage greens and sky blues. Compare the skin tone positioning in the vector scope using the skin tone indicator as a guide between your grade and the reference image. Adjust the color using the hue versus hue curve, selecting the red patch and pushing the hue rotation into positive or negative values for a natural looking skin tone. Using the HSL curves will give you a smooth and seamless result compared to the HSL qualifier tool, which has the potential to introduce artifacts on the selection edges. Lastly, look for dominant colors in the frame that need matching such as sky, foliage or anything that stands out. Again, use the HSL curves like hue versus hue and hue versus saturation to adjust the colors to match the reference. Copy the grade to other clips from the same lighting setup group and make minor adjustments from clip to clip as needed. Once done, select a light box to show a grid of thumbnails with all the clips on your timeline. This is a great way to have a general view of the entire set and evaluate if any of the clips need more work. I hope you enjoyed the video and picked up some handy tips for matching your grades to a reference photo, making your video workflow a breeze. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. We have a ton of educational material for stock media producers and creatives. And speaking of creatives, if you would like to join our inspiring community of artists here at Stocks United and sell your work as stock media on top of it, why don't you sign up using the link in the description? We would love you to be a part of it. Till next time!